Yeah, well, I watched a little bit of Gary's video response to me on his science. You know, starts off complaining about how long my video is, a half an hour, and his is like two fucking hours. You know, I think I watch about a half an hour of your video, Gary. But I'm fucking sick of listening to you bitch about me as a human being instead of just talk about the fucking science of the subject at hand. Fuck you. You think you deserve being listened at? You're like, well, if I'd known somebody for years and years, I'd be listening to their theories. Fuck you, bullshit. You don't listen to my theories. I have a shit ton of theories you haven't even noticed. Why? Because I'm not the fucking kind of asshole you are that makes my theory so fucking in, in your face that you you know when you're rejecting it because you have a chance to either take it up or not. You're not forced into rejecting it or agreeing or blah, 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 blah. So fuck you. They're offered if you can understand, which you can. Your fucking theory is a bunch of bullshit. You so off. And you say that I'm just picking on details. Look, I don't have to listen. If I listen to five videos of yours, each one with a misunderstanding of some basic concept like what we mean by polarity, not what you mean, but what we mean by polarity, which you don't seem to understand, and et cetera, et cetera, all these kinds of confusions. Right. I listen to five videos like that. I don't need to watch another ten videos where you repeat it over and over and over, right? I can assume you're being fairly consistent and just, hey, you've already contradicted reality and empirical evidence. I can talk about that directly, right? And you say five things about photons and you know at least three of them are total bullshit I don't have to listen to 40 other videos before I mention that and I'm not going to because it's boring incomprehensible bullshit it's contradictory to itself it's contradictory to the evidence it misunderstands what's even being claimed you don't even understand what's being claimed about the two-slit experiment. You don't understand what happens when you run one. You think a one-slit causes interference when even the word interference talks. It's obvious. It takes more than one thing to interfere with an other thing. If you're interfering with an other thing, it would have to be two fucking things. You don't get any of that shit. And I don't have to explain it to you, and I don't have to put up with your fucking crazy, you know, personality. I have already listened a lot to your scientific theory and trying to figure out any fucking credence. You don't understand shit. Me calling it natural philosophy is a way of legitimizing it, even though it's way too bullshit to be any actual hard science. By calling it natural philosophy, I wasn't degrading it. I, be- I like philosophy. I was legitimizing it as much as I could, which is a difficult thing because it's incoherent bullshit okay and you don't want to deal with any point that I made it's like hey well okay I don't know let, why don't you clarify what you mean about photons going in a straight line when in you know in our experience in reality they fucking don't there's no evidence that they have ever curved one of your commenters said Kwad, who's also a holocaust fucking nazi dude Holocaust denier Nazi dude. Well, there is evidence, and that's why fucking the theory of relativity was considered confirmed by an English researcher at the time that that happened. Because it was seen to bend. It was a big surprise to people that didn't expect it to bend, but they could admit what they fucking saw that you can't admit. Light does bend. Okay, that's item one. You know, you see you have these five things. You don't want to talk about your bullet list, and I didn't read all your internal things about magnetism, and you and the fucking photographer can go masturbate them out what you think magnetism is all day long. It's clear to me you don't understand. You don't understand why electromagnetism is one field and how that was, you know, you don't understand any of this shit. None of it. You're just trying to say, well, two slits per minute is wrong, it's bullshit. But you don't even deal with that. And when I say, look, you're not addressing these issues that are the focus of what you're trying to prove. (laughs) Well, I just say it from a point of authority, blah, 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 blah. You have said nothing. 
Nothing that can even be engaged with, right? You're not even making an actual statement. If someone says, the light bulb's on and yet it's off and I see light with the light bulb's off and I there's light, oh, what's going on? We don't have to deal with that fucking dilemma, okay? I don't have to deal with that dilemma. The universe behaves a certain way. You've got no clue about that. You have not, you have to hook up a little bit with how the universe is actually behaving when you just make st- just random statements about the dissipation of a photon or the or or any of that that you have made that it goes in a straight line that that the diffraction pattern is the same as the interference pattern blah, blah, blah. well of course you would accept that no it's that's bullshit that's totally wrong i don't accept that it's there's easy to see on paper or any other way that that's bullshit yeah and it's bullshit so no you're lucky i'm taking it seriously enough to talk about every six months because it's bullshit okay you have absolutely nothing going for it and you're an asshole so that if somebody wanted to listen to it just out of compassion for gary's having an idea let's see what's that that's all about you're too much of a fucking asshole about it to sustain that because we're supposed to believe you really have the answer well fuck you you don't have an answer your answer is bullshit you don't know what you're talking about you have absolutely no conception of what's being claimed currently or the evidence behind that claim or how much controversy and difference of opinion there is among people that aren't denying reality like you we have different opinions those of us that aren't denying the evidence of reality but still find room for difference of opinion yeah you look like you're full of shit to us 100 percent you're making no coherent comments whatsoever at all right okay so take the 45 no take the hour and a half of your video that I didn't watch and shove it up your ass because I'm fucking sick of that shit. If you can't treat a person like a person, fuck you, Gary. And your your scientific ideas, boom, they're notched way below worth thinking of, right? You certainly are not coming up with scientific ideas at the level of, this guy's a total asshole, but look at the scientific brilliance. That's not happening with you, okay? You're being an asshole, your idea is full of shit. You can't take feedback that would help you improve it. You can't see it as a natural philosophy exercise in which perhaps you might have to, you know, be working on it. You're supposed to be perfectly, ex- exactly accurate every time, every day as you work on improving your system. You're already correct, but you're going to make it even more correct. It's fucking madness. So, screw you, and I'm not watching three quarters of your videos because if you make false statements in 25% of a video or 25% of your videos, I don't have to watch the other 75%. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt that you are consistent and you're saying the same thing in the fucking, you know, 75% I didn't watch and it's just as much bullshit as 25% I did watch. But if I'm wrong in that, let me guarantee you the 25 percent i did watch is total utter bullshit with actually no basis whatsoever in anything any person ought to call reality including you how about that 